announcing a pull-in of our low-power processors. They'll be branded core. And we're going to move that from fourth generation into our third generation core Ivy Bridge products. We're announcing them and launching them, shipping in full production today. And we're actually exceeding our power targets. So these products are announcing today at 7 watts versus the 10 watts. This is the uh, Acer Aspire system. It's a full Ultrabook computer. You're going to get a product versus the current Iconia system that's 20% thinner, 20% better weight, with full core performance, business cl class security, and a full HD display at 1080p. So this is a stunning 10 millimeter form factor at 800 grams. Lenovo wanted to put Intel architecture into an even thinner device. And so what Lenovo has announced yesterday is the Lenovo Yoga 11S. At $799, you're going to get a full core Ultrabook systems. We'll see systems uh, later in the first half of the year. And of course, this can operate in tent mode all the way back. And we're actually running Civilization 5 on this, which is a full high-end Core i5 game uh, in incredibly thin, incredibly light 11.6 inch system. Notebooks out there, 150 million that are three years or older. And it's almost shocking to try to lift this thing up, which is what a standard three-year-old notebook looks like today. And I'm going to do my best to, to hold it up there, but I can tell you it's tough. And compare it to what's now in a 15-inch notebook launching today. As was widely expected here at CES 2013, Intel was showing off a wide variety of its Windows 8 offerings, including its tablets, its all-in-one PCs, and its Ultrabooks. Now, its Ultrabooks are getting thinner and thinner, the battery lives are getting longer and longer, the performance is increasing, the screens are only getting nicer, and all in all, it was a pretty nice selection on offer. How consumers receive these new PCs remains to be seen, though the prices do seem to be falling, even, we've heard, below $599.